20 teams from all over the world are taking part in this huge competition, the Solar Decathlon 2014 in France. And we are one of them. So from now on, until the final completion of our house, we are going to work on our idea of sustainable city densification. And for that reason, we are moving our housing unit from the street level to the rooftop. In order to do this, the old attic is removed and the ground is sealed. Now, we can begin building the new groundwork for our house. Building on top of an existing, inhabited house is always tricky. That's why we've decided to minimise the time and effort spent at the actual building site by working with prefabricated elements. Especially the technical core module is designed to be pre-built and then simply placed on top of the roof. Creating a comfortable living environment is a challenge. For this reason, we built a thermal hall around our living space. Over this, we place our second layer, an outer shell consistent of the solar roof and the foldable facade elements. While designing the photovoltaic system of the house, we realized that a PV panel mimics the photosynthesis principle of a leaf. Hence, with our facade concept, we try to mimic a leaf or a flower as it tracks the path of the sun during the day. It also makes for a great visual experience from the inside. The facade elements also serve to insulate the house during the winter and will act as small greenhouses, 14 in number, passively heating the house in the coldest months of the year. It's a back and forth between openness and closeness. The facade allows the owner to decide whether he wishes to integrate his home into the cityscape or whether he wishes to envelop it into a cocoon. But also within the house, there's a very interesting dynamic between the different living zones. The heart of our building is the core module. It defines the kitchen, the bedroom and the living room, yet at the same time it allows the elements to flow freely into one another. When opening the bathroom doors, the bedroom becomes an enclosed sanctuary, thereby interrupting the free flow of the house. This way we move away from a rigid, dominant structure towards a flexible, fluid and almost organic house. The major living functions are combined in the module and out of its core the technical room spreads the building installations. Naturally, as with all light construction buildings, there is a lack of thermal mass in the rooftop house. In order to shave off heat peaks during the day and in winter time, store heat in a smart way, we use an integrated PCM ceiling. The heating system is a future-orientated, sophisticated system. An air-water heat pump supported by solar thermal collectors uses the heat from the outside air and stored into a buffer tank. The system can be completely turned around so that heat is transported outside. We keep the system running on a low temperature in order to maximize the efficiency of the heat pump. That's why we use a floor heating system and direct heating in a fresh water station. It's hygienic and efficient. This system is mainly powered by our own electricity. In this way we minimize the running cost of the house. For ventilation we have come up with an efficient hybrid system. Decentralized ventilation fans supply fresh air to the room separately, supported by natural airflow through mechanical openings. The system is regulated by CO2 sensors, which save a lot of energy. Kitchen and bathroom have separate ventilations that switch on only when needed. The house has 14 folding facades with a dimension of about 3 by 2 meters each that can fold horizontally. Each facade in turn has six fins beset with PV panels that can uh, rotate vertically. By combining these two motions, we achieve a very novel two-axis tracking system. The incoming energy from the photovoltaic panels is being processed in our core module and then they are relayed to the different appliances in the house. As we generate so much surplus energy, we also intend to feed the houses below with uh, some electricity and in this way we complete our symbiotic relationship to our host building. Surplus energy could also be used to power an e-mobility charging station at the ground level and this way we can also give something back to the city we belong to. In order to create something new, we have to start again and I believe that we are creating a part of the future. New technologies, innovation and highest precision are coming together in this project. Team Rooftop is a new way of thinking about urban living, supported by a will to create, great teamwork and a focus on the things that really matter. But we couldn't do what we do without our supporters. We really appreciate your help. Thank you very much.